Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going just to do a really quick review. Not really first impressions, but just my general thoughts on this product. I've had it for about a week, I believe. Two weeks, I believe. So, um, yeah, just my thoughts on this because it's a very, very hyped product here on YouTube as well as a product that gets a lot of bashing here on YouTube. It is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Edit Palette. It comes in this beautiful mirrored packaging and it opens up and it comes with six different um, ambient lighting powders. Now, I saw this come out, I think it came out for in the holidays as kind of like this limited edition thing. Um, everyone was talking about it. People either loved it or people were just like, these products are so tiny, they're not worth the money because the full size is just, you get so much more and the palette itself is just really, really tiny. Each powder is about 0 0.05 ounces. They are really tiny, like you can see in my finger. It's right here. So depending on the brush that you use, you might need to size down your brush to kind of get into them. Or you can swirl it all around. I think some people said that they do that. But let me just say why I purchased this. I recently purchased it. Um, it's no longer available on Sephora, but it is available on Nordstrom for $80. And I love the ambient. Um, lighting powders but they are very expensive full size and I don't know what I would do if I had all of these shades full size I just think it would take me forever to finish and I don't know it would just be so much of an investment when I kind of want to just try out different different shades and see how I like them and use them for different occasions you know what I mean I feel like if you really like a certain powder in here a certain color then I think it's worth it to go out and buy it but if that's not the case and, and you just want to and you like them but you want to try a variety then I think this is worth it. The packaging is beautiful. It's the standard hourglass packaging that mirrored finish with the hourglass name imprinted on there. I absolutely love the packaging. I know it gets really smudgy and fingerprints get all over it but I still think it's so beautiful and um, it comes with a giant mirror on this side here so I really like that um, and I did pretty much all of my color makeup on my face with this palette today. So I applied the, I think this is the Luminous Flush Blush, which is this gorgeous orange, pinky orange blush here. I put that on first and then I kind of swiped to the Luminous Bronze Light all over the perimeters of my face. I finished with the Dim Light, which is the soft yellow one. And I actually have the full size of the dim light, the yellow one, and I used that full size one to wipe all over my face. And then I used this one, this middle one, which is the iridescent light. Now, another reason why I wanted to buy this product is because the ambient um, strobe lights came out, and they're supposed to be those shimmery highlights. They're, kind of, they're very new, and a lot of people talk about them, and they're not like the Becca shimmers. They're not like the Balm Mary Luminizer shimmers. They're very... They have that same diffused quality that all of the ambient lights have. So and that's what I really love. So I wanted to try that. And this shade here, this iridescent light, is actually the same um, ambient strobe iridescent color. So the new one that came out. And I confirmed this. So I emailed um, Hourglass and I said, you know, I have the lighting edit palette and I noticed that the names were the same so even though it doesn't say strobing ambient strobe light here on the back it does say iridescent light and the strobing powder it also says iridescent light so i wanted to make sure is are these two exactly the same product because um, this iridescent light in the palette is a lot um i don't want to say shimmery but it does have a brighter sheen to it than all the other um colors in this palette and they confirmed they said you are absolutely correct it is the strobing light um, iridescent light color so I was really excited and I was like yes yes so I basically have one of the newer um, powders in here now I was a little bit worried at first that this would be too pink for me I think I was watching Tati's um, Glam Life Guru on YouTube where she talks about all those strobing lights and she swatched them on her hand and she had swatched iridescent light and it was very pink on her hand so I was like oh I don't know if that's gonna look good on me because I have the um the Balm's Cindy Luminizer I believe the the more pinkish one and that is too dark that works more as a blush for me but it's actually fine I and mean, you can see it right here I have it right on the tops of my cheeks so 
you can definitely see that glow and I think it's a really nice one because sometimes um, I also have it down the bridge of my nose because sometimes really yellow or really champagne -y highlights kind of don't go with the rest of my skin tone and so you can kind of see it more and I think if you want that dramatic effect then I like it but for this something that just looks very subtle and just kind of gives you that really radiant glow I think um, this iridescent light or the ambient strobe lightings work a lot better on me as far as and then the iridescent light is not too dark on me as you can see I think it's a pretty good shade for um, what it is yeah so I would never buy the strobing lights full size and I would never buy the bronze full size but I did really really want to try those out and so that's why I feel like this is a pretty good investment for me okay so now I'm gonna stop trying to justify myself <laughs> and I'm just gonna talk about the product itself so on my skin now this looks pretty cool tone. I feel like all of this, the, these rows here, this is the bronze light, luminous bronze light and luminous flush, and this is mood exposure, which is a really popular blush color. I feel like all of these show up very warm on my skin tone. Not exactly sure, so I have to be, and they are very pig pigmented. Um, I thought they weren't going to be pigmented because if you're used to the ambient lighting powders, the original ones, like the dim light, diffuse light, ethereal light, those, they're not concentrated, you know, because they're supposed to be just kind of like an all-over setting powder or finishing powder that just kind of gives you a nice little glow, diffused look. Um, so I thought I was like, going to be expecting something like that with this row here, but it's actually pretty pigmented and it packs a punch. Um, especially this bronze one, it's a little bit too light or too warm for my skin tone. So it does come up slightly orangey when I apply it. And when I swatch it on my hands, you can't really tell. It doesn't look orange at all, but for some reason, when I put it on my face, it is a little bit, oh, so then you can see here. It is a little bit orangish. You can see that. So I have to be really careful. I use a really, really fluffy, um, loosely packed brush to just kind of dust it all over my face. Um, but I do like that it gives me a nice color. It just, um, it is a little bit too warm. Now this luminous flush here is a beautiful shade. Um, I have it on my cheeks today. Um, it looks pretty corally, like a bright, bright coral here. And that's the shade on my hand. And that's what I have on my cheeks today. I think it's very nice. It's a very nice springy, summery kind of color. Now I was really excited about mood exposure. I really love these types of very cool pinks, cool plum type of blushes and I really thought this would be gorgeous. It is a supposed to be kind of like this subtle but slightly mauvey plummy but still very light um, but for some reason on my skin it comes off a little bit warmer than what is on the pan so at first I thought it was because I was applying the bronzer on first and then I was putting the mood exposure over it so I was like okay that makes sense but um, I did the opposite, I applied the blush on first and it still is pretty pink so it ha it's bringing out a lot of pink undertones as a instead of really mauve cooler tones so at least for my skin. This is still beautiful but it's a little bit disappointing for me but just because it wasn't the color that I thought it was going to be but I still really really like it. I will say the ambient lighting powder in diffused light which is this slightly pinkish shade here is slightly I'm not used to it I do like the effect that it gives my face but it kind of gives it slightly like a rosy tint but I'm so used to using my dim light and I've always used this one the full size like all the time that it that one really just brightens up your face and really makes it radiant that I was just not used to this because this is not as bright as this one as you can see so um, I'm still getting used to this but I do like it I made this video because I felt like there were not enough um, pale skin girls talking about this palette. Um, I saw, I've watched so many different reviews and so many swatches and things like that of people who um, bought this palette and whether they liked it or not, or that was besides the point, but I didn't know how it was, it was gonna look on my face. And they didn't have it at Sephora anymore. And I didn't know they had it at Nordstrom because I bought it online, but 
I was like, oh my God, I don't know if the iridescent light is gonna be too dark on me. I don't know if the diffuse light is gonna be slightly too dark on me. And what if the bronze is like a totally different shade that I can't work with and things like that. So um, I finally found one reviewer, I think, in my search who had um, pale skin. Her link down below, but um, she had swatched these or she had talked about them. And I was like, you know, I think it could work for me then. And I already know dim light works for me. And I know the blushes are gonna work because they're blushes but for the other ones. So took the plunge and bought it on Nordstrom and I've been loving it ever since. So I hope you enjoyed this review. Um, I hope you're not angry if you're one of, one of those people who like absolutely hate this product because it's um, not worth the money, but I think it just depends on what you want from the product. I think for me, quantity, I guess, and the, the ability and the freedom to choose as and try out a bunch of different shades without committing to buying them full size is what makes it very attractive to me. So yeah, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, give me a like, and subscribe to my channel for more videos. Um, all right, until then, I will see you next time in my next video. Have a great day. Bye.